Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. We're going to try something new today. This is how I set up my home studio for headshots. I basically put together my background stanchion and I put the color I want. I also arranged the lights along with a bounce here or reflector. I also set up my camera on a tripod angled to where I'm going to be seated. Right now I'm listening to music. So I'm just going to have to voice over this whole entire thing because I will get copyright infringement if I let you listen to what I'm listening to. <laughs> so right now I'm looking for the settings. I'm going to figure out what I want for the settings. I actually watched a YouTube video on the proper settings. So that's the first thing I'm going to try. I end up not going with that because my studio is set up a little different than his was in his video. I'm also doing one light with a bounce, not two lights. I'm sorry that it keeps adjusting. I don't know why it keeps doing that. This is the first time I'm using this to record, so that's why I'm doing this. That's me looking up the screenshots of the settings for the photos that I'm going to be using. Also, those are my shorts my sister made. Very comfortable. Mostly headshots are from the stomach up or the chest up so it doesn't matter what you're wearing on the bottom it doesn't matter for my setup I have what is this a beauty dish along with some triggers one trigger is hanging on the beauty dish one trigger is on top of the camera I got these from BNC which is a camera place here in Vegas pretty easy to set up because I've been doing it for a while. Very simple as well. Also you got to make sure you're eating and make sure you have your snacks because it's going to be a long process. Right there you see me turning on, what is that thing called? Anyways I plug all my lights into one outlet surge protector, boom, so that I won't blow anything while I'm doing this just in case. Also you want to have a remote handy. That's how I take a lot of my headshots by myself as a remote because timers usually doesn't get me as focused as I want to be. So this is me just testing it. I take a couple of shots and then I look back to see if I like it. If I don't, because I can see it already on the flip screen, I adjust accordingly. This is me trying it again. This is just testing so it doesn't matter if I have the food with me. You know, your girl got to eat. You got to eat. Because if I don't eat, the pictures are going to look way worse than what you think they're going to look like. Because I'm going to be mad. And hungry. <laughs> look at that stupid face. I don't know why I was making that face. Yeah, that's exactly my reaction to that. <laughs> you don't want to make your headshots look forced at all. You don't want them to look fake. So take as many as you need. I think at the end of this, I maybe took four to 500 shots using different lenses and different backgrounds because you got to get the most out of when you shoot. You can't just take a couple and be done with it. You got to keep shooting. Oops. <laughs> this is my reflector. I'm using it as my second light. So I have to adjust it. It was too far away, so the light was looking gross and I was having dark spots behind me for headshots you want to have no dark spots behind you everything needs to be light I'm doing commercial in serious so everything needs to be light also I'm trying to get these to my agent and if he doesn't like them he will tell me so <laughs> also angle your body towards your light source that usually works the best I know my camera isn't over there but you want most of your light to hit your face so that you can see it plus in commercial photography you do not want any dark spots or very like weird shapes of shadows on your face because that can also give you a different look than what you're going for here you can just see me adjusting again I adjust throughout this whole video because if it doesn't look right to you it's not gonna look right to anyone else so do what you gotta do also move the camera if you need to it's your house do what you want 
did go to school for, for commercial photography, so that's why I have most of my equipment here. Also, used to do YouTube more heavily than I do now, so that's why I have this. But you can go to any camera shop or even freaking Amazon has like almost everything. And start small and set up what you can do, you know? Okay, this is my second outfit choice, which is a more preppy schoolgirl, or you can say office person type of t-shirt. Like I said, you wanna switch it up, give yourself different options or different looks. This is the setup I use for this t-shirt. And I also switch my hairstyles a couple of times just to give myself a character look. Also, air drums, hell yeah. <laughs> The music I listen to is like Bruno Mars and uh, and what is it Lucky Day so it was just on shuffle most of the time also if I switch the lens which I probably did on this one you got to move the camera backwards because I used the 50 millimeter and then I used the 18 slash 55 millimeter as well so you know that's what I did. <laughs> Tell me if you like this vo voiceover process because this is the first time me going heavily into what I do for my photography. Just let me know. I don't know what works for my YouTube channel anymore so I stopped posting on it. But if this does well, I'll keep posting more behind the scenes of the photography things I do. Also, this is a big problem that happens with remotes is sometimes it just doesn't hit the receiver or it doesn't click you have to switch the angles it just doesn't catch and that just makes me so irritated this is me changing the backdrop i told you i did more than one also dancing because why not have dance breaks hello gotta keep it light and airy or you'll have a long day be also very gentle with your things it looks like I'm throwing it around because I sped this up but I'm being very gentle yes what I like to do is leave everything the way it is I usually turn off the camera to save battery and then I just slip off the backdrop it's only me so sometimes it's really difficult because it could be heavy but, you know, trust yourself, take your time, and do not damage your own equipment. Dance, 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 baby, dance. This is the backdrop I'll be using. The first one was paper. The second one is like a blanket cloth. It's really nice. I got this on Amazon, I think, for $150. If I find the link, I will link it. But I only used this once for a Christmas per picture I did with my dog. That is also on my TikTok if you have not seen it. For this to get off the ground, I had to lift it way higher than I did the paper. Because um, I want to see it as straight as possible you know and as most most space as possible also as you can see there's so many wrinkles on this every time I do this I do have to steam but this is just me testing it before I get into the nitty-gritty so also I was trying the P Diddy Nusa Rock thing it was disgusting disgusting I don't know what he did to that thing there's no sugar there's nothing it was just so bad <laughs> anyways this is me still correcting also I always mute I always change my music I don't know why I'm that kind of person that can't stay with one song if I don't like it I switch it this is me showing you my steamer please steam because the last thing you want to do is be in Photoshop editing wrinkles for about two hours because you just was too lazy to steam just steam it just steam it please god I beg of you and I only steam in the area that the camera can see so that also saves me a little time 
dance, 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 dance. Ayo, ayo, ayo. I don't know why it seems like forever, but I sped this up and it still took me about 10 minutes to steam without burning myself. I'm also trying to make sure that it wasn't heavy or pulling on one side more than the other. Because this thing is very heavy. By itself, I think it's like 20 pounds or something. I really was getting it. I was into it. I wonder what my song this was. I was into it. Into it, into it, yeah, 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 into it. Please don't listen to me. <laughs> I'm in my room after a long day of editing voiceover of this so I can get this on the internet at a good time. Also, tell me if you guys like these photos. I only posted one on my Instagram account because I think it was too serious and I don't know if people liked it. So I'm usually doing glamorized things, and this was very much straightforward. I do talk to myself. I don't know why it was lighting a certain way, so I just adjust it. But think about it. Last, what is it, paper was gray, and this one is like a super light tan. So it's going to be very different. Everything needs to be changed depending on the light nor the effect it was giving me. Look at that damn remote again. It is acting quite like... <clears throat> I swear, at one point I wanted to throw the remote over. And no, it is not dead of batteries because I changed those batteries before the photo shoot. Hey, getting it. <laughs> I got a little frustrated too, but you gotta push through it. You gotta push through it so you can get that photo that you need for the agency. Come on now. And if you want to know, I went with silver because if you go with gold, it gives you this warm effect that is not needed for headshots. It is very nice now you do. So, I, silver, silver is your best friend. Also, I got that off Amazon as well. This is a Canon camera. I have did headshots in my Sony before, but sometimes the Sonys don't work with the trigger well enough, so... I have to figure that one out. Hey, yeah, yeah. Angry. <laughs> right, I know you haven't heard my voice for most of this video. I'm probably gonna do a voiceover. Anyways, now I'm finished with my headshots and what I thought I could get out of the looks. So we're going to clean up everything and then go to my computer, edit it. I'll show you the finish touches. I won't show you my editing process because I change it up so often. I just go to what I'm looking for. But if you want me to show you how I edit my pictures, I can also show you that. I do Photoshop Adobe, but enjoy me cleaning up all this shit because my head is All right, this is me breaking down everything. It is not an easy process. You just have to go with the flow. I definitely had to go with the flow here. I don't know, I like to get all the big things off first and then I continue with everything else. Me, I do the lights first. I like to get them turned off because they get really hot if you leave them on for so long. So before I put them away, I like them to cool down. Here I went with this because sometimes it's a hassle getting it back in its bag. But if you clean up everything right after the photo shoot, I promise you, you'll feel more accomplished. Because you don't have to worry about this later. Just do it now. Plus I share my apartment with my sister as a lot of you on TikTok know. So she don't want to come home and see you know, all this stuff everywhere because guess what? I'm going to hear about it. Also, I have control issues, so I I need it gone. <laughs> I, I don't know how long it takes me to set up or 
put this down, but I think I fast forwarded through this and this was only like 12 minutes, but I got it down to like two or three on here. Mostly I do keep everything against that wall because this is a creator's house and we're always creating something if it's not like TikTok videos, YouTube videos, or photo shoots, you know, it's around that realm. Please wrap your cords, people. The worst thing you can have is some bent cords. Guess who's gonna be paying for that? You are. I keep everything plugged in, even my lights, so that nothing just turns off on me. Look at my scooters. I used to wear um, use these so much when I was at school. I don't use them too much anymore, but if anyone knows a scooter shop repair place, let me know, because I've been trying to get mine fixed for a long time, and I feel like nobody repairs scooters. I don't know. I just need to get it fixed because I'm definitely going to keep on to this for many years because it's so great to take to the park or anything like that. Or California. But, um, that's all I have for you today. Leave me some comments down below on uh, any questions you may have. And uh, yeah, every once in a while I do my own headshots to uh, you know update the portfolio. And uh how I set up my apartment and how I break it down. Here are some of the headshots. Enjoy. Let me know what you think down below. Thank you.